Hi guys, Jason here from Low and Roads. We got a Swift Contiki 625 here in stock, which we're going to do a video tour for you today. Now, this is a wonderful four berth, four travel seat motorhome. It's based on the Fiat Ducato. Now, it is an automatic 150 brake horsepower, 2.3 litre engine. Now, this Contiki, as well as all Contikis, the, the spec is very impressive. Of course, you've got your Aldi heating, your two lay canopy on the top. Solar panels, reverse camera, tow bar, air conditioning unit on the front, sat nav, everything as you again you would expect on such a nice motorhome as the Contiki. Now we're going to do a bit of a video tour, a bit of a walk around. Let's start on the inside, check it out, and take it from there. So this is a 625. We've actually just done a video before this on a 65, uh, well, a 650. Check that out and you'll see the differences. On the front, this is a Fiat, De Fiat Decato. These both are as far as it goes. But this is a Fiat Decato, 2.3 litre, 150 brake horsepower automatic. As standard, you've got your air conditioning on the front here. Sat nav, CD player. You can connect your phone for phone calls and streaming music. Cruise control and privacy blinds on the front. You've got a separate reverse monitor on the front, which is linked to SV, which is your Swift Vision which gives you a reverse camera, rear view permanent as you're driving, and cameras on actually both sides of the motorhome, so you can see all around it. Dual captain swivel seats. This is a four travel seat motorhome, two at the front, and then two behind me just here in this dining area. It's also ISO fixed, so you can fit a baby chair to it. Now you've got this fixed table. This can move, of course, you can fill it over, flip it like so. You can move it around, but this does stay here. It can drop and that'll help you make the bed for the front. It is a four berth. So drop this manually down and then rectangle it all up with your cushions across here. This full area makes a front bed. In the back, you've got a island bed in this layout of the Contiki, which is very popular. His and her wardrobes on each side and that glorious sunroof just at the top. Really, really nice. Now you do have blinds on that window at the top so you can block it out for the sun. You're not gonna be woke up every morning with the sun. Underneath here you do have in fact storage. Check that out. And on this model you do also have garage space which is under that sort of wood at the back. And I'm gonna show you that momentarily. Bracket on the back to fit a TV, as well as all your plug-in points and like things like that. Storage lockers on both sides and on the back. There is ample storage in here. You've got a nice long kitchen worked up with storage lockers below and above on the top. Appliances in your kitchen. You've got your extractor fan just underneath here. Three gas cookers on the top with electric hot plate, separate grill, and separate oven. And then just behind me, we've got an integrated microwave at the top, and your full length thematic fridge and freezer. And something quite cool on this one is it does open both ways. You do have a washroom in here with a separate toilet and shower. So you've got your sink and your mirror, some more storage, of course, your toilet, as well as your separate shower on the end. Now, heating wise in here, you're on Aldi heating. And you control all of that just above the big main door. This is your Aldi heating. This is your Swift command unit. You can control everything in the motor home in here. Your lights, your power, your water pump, and actually your radio. So in here, you might have noticed the keen eyed among you that we've got built in speakers in the roof it's on the front and on the back. That does work as a radio, which you can stream right the way through. So this is the inside. Fair to say it's a beautiful motor home. You've got your extra wide door, which again is standard in the Contiki. Now, spec wise, front to back, it's just over nine meters long, and this is over three and a half tons. So, you do need your C1 license to drive 
a motorhome of this size. Your two-lay canopy wind out on the top, which is full length. Reverse camera and permanent rear view camera. Fitted tow bar, reverse sensors and garage space. You've got a door on both sides for that. You can tie down straps, electric points in the back. Externally, you've got an external barbecue point, which is this just here. So if you're having a barbecue, connect it into that and that will run off the gas bottles on the vehicle. Now this will take up to two 13 kgs. Most people do six kgs, but you know that's optional and however you want to use it. External barbecue point, you've got external water shower point on this and an external 230 volt. So it comes fully packed. Now this motorhome is already available immediately for sale. For full details, go to the description. Pop and down, we're in Snoke on Trent. We've got plenty of motorhomes to come and browse at your own leisure. Thank you for watching. Do like and subscribe. And as always, we'll see you real soon.